Hello, it's the 23rd of April 2020. I've finally decided I'm going to start building the North Western Railway, Tidmouth to Knapford and beyond, middle section. Could have done it about four months ago, but I lost Mojo after all the baseball building and couldn't be bothered. So, I'll show you what we've got and then we'll get on with it. So we start off here. This board was made and I've pulled it out because it's dipping. So I either need to level it or remake it. Similarly, this one I never finished. You push it down there, it's not so bad, but you can see the bow going down the length of it. Reason being, this area here is going to be kind of cut out. So again, when I get to this part, I'll have to either rebuild it or just bodge it, or I don't know. But it's not a big problem, because most of it's fine. You've got a big board here. You've got a board there. You've got a board here. You've got a board there. Another one, another one, another one, and then another one. And uh, the idea is to basically to build this side first. There was some problems. We did try to make this level, all the framework, but it persisted in needing faff about things to make it level, despite our efforts. But anyway, it is level now, so we're going to start building on this. I say we, because me and my dad are going to be doing it. I'll be doing most of it, though. How much of the track lane I'm going to record, I don't know, because I've done it before. It's not particularly interesting. I'll just be little bits here and there. But we're starting with Napford Junction. Orientated that way. So, let's get on with it. Oh, yes. Ooh. So we've made some progress. I've done my grid square one foot like I usually do. Okay, just basically measure, mark, you know, nice and simple. So that it corresponds with the grid squares on here. I've got some trap pins, but I wish to use these instead. Six millimeter micro screws. That way you don't damage your track so much when you're hammering it, so you don't have to hammer it. Now, I mentioned earlier that I've had to use this to pack it and I fixed it there and there. So this ain't going nowhere. I'll remove it when I need to do some wiring because I can't get under every single piece. But until that time, I'm doing this as well. Right, because it was lifting up just slightly, so that keeps it jammed. It might not be the professional answer, but it doesn't matter because that join is this one and this scenic bank is going to be removable so it doesn't really matter i'm not using pattern maker dowels because you have to move the board sideways completely useless for what i need it only just fits as it is um right so what i've done here i've started to lay parallel tracks they're not going to be laid because that's going to be about there again with here now last night i decided i'm going to start track laying so Rather than going online and purchasing something that I needed, I was a cheapskate and I made my own. If it would focus. That. 200 microns, real quick print. That's why it's rough, but it does the job. Uh, they've only about 50p from Pico anyway, so, you know, I don't have a problem buying one. I just wanted to get on with it. So I've printed two off, and I'm using that to do this. I've measured. From the edge of the board upwards, seven and a half inches, and that's where the sleeper is. So I've started to put these little marks all the way down. Um, this flexible track, the bullhead, does not have holes in it, which is what this is for. I'm going to drill some holes and get some screws in. So, back in a few seconds. Right, I've had this a long time. It was brought as a gift. I've only just opened it I'm using this one, which only just focuses there we go we've got it okay so you see I've just drilled the second hole the first one's already in and these are just temporarily I want to get part of the track fixed I'm the wrong bit Right, 
I want to get part of the track fixed, okay? So I know exactly where certain bits are going to go. And then I can take the track up, cut it, dress the ends and start joining things. But somewhere along the line, I need things to just stay still. So it's going to take a little while, I guess. I'm going to do this first and then I'll use these gauges to gauge that track. That's the plan. Right, I've marked it here and here, so that's going to go there. I'll try and cut it with this, and then uh, if it's going to be a pain, I'll get the, the clippers out and do it that way. If I can file it in situ, if the fish blazer will do it. If not, fine, I'll unscrew it, take it out, do it properly, and put it back in. Let's have a go. Let's give it a go. Okay, it could have been easier. Maybe I should get a block made. Not the neatest. Now to make sure fish plates are going to fit on it for that. I might have to take it off, get the fine file. There's a lot of faffing around, but there you go. Another little baby update. Uh, using the pen, I've marked all the critical critical bits, and I've been going around the, the timbers here just to locate it. I pushed the track out of the way for now, and I'm going to put this on, the streamline one. When Pico will pull the finger out and get the bullhead made, I'll replace this. I'm not going to use fish plates, so it's just going to go straight in and then straight out. I'll crack on. Okay, very, very small update. This is loose, that's loose at the moment. Right, you see I've got alignment of the tracks. Okay, and if I move that, I've marked it, gave it some outside shape. A little circle with a D, just means drive, because there's two, maybe choose one, need to decide. DS for double slip. Uh, circle and F, frog wire. Kind of the same thing there. Um, so what I'm going to do now is start drilling holes out. I've just realised something. You see how there's two holes? Right, one there, one there. Obviously I had a choice. I drilled the far one. Well, if you look on the screen, 
you'll see the new bullhead ones that are coming out don't have the hole there more like the normal points that are bullhead on the ends so I will most likely not point mode to that for the time being just finger do it and then I'll have to cover that with a thin bit of paper or something and then drill a new hole lesson learned okay so another little baby update I've got screws in Okay, one there, one there, one there, one there, two at the end, etc. These have a, uh, from each outside, there's little connection droppers. I'm not going to bother drilling a hole. I'll fill it in when I need to, that little gap. And what I'll do is I'll operate it like this for now, with dead frogs. And then in the future, when I replace them, I'll do them properly. I can't buy the Cobalt IP DCC concept point motors that I would like to use, because at the moment, they're just not available. So, like I said, it's finger operation with dead frogs for the time being. Um, got some roll tests. Seems okay. And so on, it's, it's fine. Um, so next stage, we'll be continue the tracks that way. And obviously, for the branch, I'll have to find out where to put the platform. But this is where we're at. Right, so this is where we are at the moment. I've got a nail there, screw there, screw there. And you can just run that along the length. Quick measurement from here to the end of the baseboard. That keeps it level. Right, that's the lunch break out of the way. Shepherd's pie with added chilli. Nom nom. And tomato. <clears throat> right. I've removed the sleepers here and here. I could use this. Copper clad sleeper or timber strip. I'm going to use this. Which is basically pre-gapped. Same sort of stuff. Uh, they're a bit longer because of a P4. But obviously just trim the ends will make them a bit less. And that is pretty much standard practice for exhibition layouts, which this is not, but anyway. I'm going to glue them in position there, solder the rails to it, and cut it. it gives you a stronger end, there's less chance it's going to move or bend. Uh, because this, these boards need to be removed to do the wiring. Right, so there you go. Okay, it's glued in position. It's a little bit of brass here, I might use them as chairs because there's a gap under here. But I might order some extra chairs and then solder them in properly. So let's do this side. Right. One out of the way. Okay. The join's not brilliant, I know, but we will get away with it, I'm sure. Um, it'll be the same again for the other side, pretty much. Obviously, these have to be trimmed off, but we'll get there. Another little farty clip. I've also just pushed a B12 through it, which has more clearance than a coach. So it's safe to say Pacific won't be much different. So <clears throat> I think that's about as close as a day ago. So I'll put coach wheel end, which is obviously where the wheel is. 
I need to fit six of these in. Thusly. Okay, so again, coach wheel end. We've got six of them. Right, so we can sort out exactly where the crossover is going to go. And we also have. Oh, yes! Bernoffy pie! Yum, yum. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, this is a progress. Um, some of these I'll be lifting up to, to do the wiring, same as the boards will be taken out to tip on the side to do the wiring. These eventually will be replaced with the Pico bullhead ones. Um, again, they've got the six coaches. Some of these are brought second hand, needs to change the wheels because the back to backs are wrong and won't move. But these ones are okay. And it clears both ends when it doesn't hit the platform. Yeah, have that actor. Right, so slight issue here. Draw the old slightly in wrong place. It doesn't really matter because I mean there's a board join here as well. So good luck getting a point motor there. But it doesn't matter because this point here essentially is just a trap point. Small short siding just to protect the main line. That's literally all it is. So I'll run it with this setting. I'll keep it there, um, and if I want to run something here for a bit of fun or a crash scene or something, I'll just move that with my finger, dead frog, and hope it goes over it, because that's hardly ever going to be used. Simple as that. Uh, yep, it's all pretty much down. Holes are drilled for feeders, and the frogs, frog wires already dropped down because they've pre-wired, thankfully. Um, I've done this to all the board joints. They will be sawed through. And that's where we are. I started around about one o'clock in the afternoon. It's now about quarter to nine at night. Apart from dinner, I've been on it pretty much solid. So I think that will do for this video. I will now either, well, probably tomorrow start editing. Um, I'm quite happy with the progress, sir. I've been quite meticulous. Pretty straight. I'm not going to say it's perfect, but it's not bad. And if I uh, zoom, you see some kinks. But it's not bad. Ah, uh, one sec. I think we're off to a good start. So drop us some comments, let us know what you think, all the usual crap. And uh well it started at last. Yes.